a patient is suffering from low sperm count, low sperm motility, abnormal sperm morphology. Let us understand why and it is becoming very common nowadays. Now the low sperm count issue, low sperm motility and abnormal sperm morphology, the medical term for that is called as oligoasthenoteratospermia. Now because the basic three reasons has to be assessed in order to understand why there is uh, increase in such patients today. The number one reason can be associated with our lifestyle. A person's lifestyle wherein his diet habits, food habituations, his sedentary lifestyle whether he is able to have a proper workout routine or not, his sleep this is very important. All these are parameters are affecting the production of sperm in today's male. Above that there can be issues like smoking, alcoholism, recreational drugs, all this is affecting the sperm production. So the first heading can be like lifestyle changes wherein we need to correct all the lifestyle parameters of that particular patient in order to improve the sperm parameter. The second important aspect is the environmental factors. Today we are exposed to a lot of toxins from the atmosphere, radiations, pollution, pesticides. All these are coming into our food the with which we eat. There are a lot of pesticides in the fruits. There are so many uh, chemicals are added in the foods what we eat. So all this is affecting the testicular function which in causes problems to the sperm production. Then there is something called as nutritional deficiencies also. Through the diet which we don't get proper diet or proper nutrition, we have the problems of low sperm count. The nutritional deficiency can be lesser uh, intake of zinc, selenium, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin D, coenzyme, all this also comes into play. Therefore, today the problem of low sperm count, low sperm motility and abnormal morphology of the sperm is on a rise because infertility is also on a rise because of all these parameters. So we have to understand that these important three parameters has to be corrected before starting a treatment in one particular individual. So this is an important point which you should keep in mind.